In this video, we're going to look at how to use key switches in Studio One. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. So when Presonus released Studio One version 5, I was very pleased to see that they'd added some key switch features. Now key switches are very handy for adding extra expression and articulations to your instruments as they play through. But if you've ever used them at all, you'll know that they can be a bit of a hassle to use and manage through the composition process in your door. I'm very pleased to see that these new key switch features make life a whole lot easier. So I'll be running through all the basics that you need to know today and there's really not much to it because it's a very simple feature to use. Now before I do get stuck in, if you like this kind of content, all about home recording, DAWs, gear reviews, plug-in reviews, that kind of thing, please do subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you're notified about my future videos. So let's get into some key switching. So here we are in Studio One and I've set up this little groove which I've just written this morning and I'm gonna play through it. Now the star of the show is this Ample Sound Taylor guitar. Let's just have a listen and see what's happening with it. There's a whole lot happening with it. We have some sustained notes, we have some palm muted notes, we have some harmonics, a whole bunch of stuff going on there. And that's controlled with some of the keys on the keyboard. If we go to the keyboard mode here on the guitar, we can see a few keys down the bottom end here and they've got some little blue highlights above them. Those are the key switches. And when we press those, it will change the sound of the guitar in some way or other. Now let's just have a listen again. I'm gonna solo it and you can see those key switches in action. Now some people are able to play those as they play the guitar part in. I'm not that great a keyboard player, so I tend to go to the piano roll. So let's see how this looks on the piano roll. I'll just close the guitar there and bring up the piano roll. And you can see all of the notes there happening in the guitar part. And there's a new tab down here, which is new to version five, and this is the key switches tab. So I'll go over to that and you can see these new key switches happening there. You can see right at the beginning here that I was playing sustained mode, and then I went to palm music then to natural harmonics, back to sustain, etc., etc. It's very easy to add these in, and it's also very easy to see what's happening just by looking. Now, before I get into how I actually did this and how easy it was to do, I just want to take a quick look at the old way of doing things and what problems we've now solved. So here's a demo of the old way of doing things. I've got this guitar part here, it's in two halves. With the first half, it's playing sustained notes, which you can see here. And then in the second half, it should be playing muted or palm muted notes. And that's controlled by these two key switches down here. This big long bottom C here makes it play sustained notes. And this one over here makes it play palm mute notes. So let's just have a quick listen to make sure that's happening. Okay, so let's see what the first problem is. And you would have come across this many, many times if you've used key switches. Let's go to this second half and play the muted notes. And I'll stop there, but I'm gonna quickly go back to here. I'm sort of halfway through the area where it should be playing sustained notes. Let's have a listen. Hmm, but it's playing muted notes. Likewise, if I was to play from the beginning here, and I stop there and I skip forward over here uh, to the middle of this muted part. Let's have a listen. Hmm, it's playing sustain notes. That's because the playhead hasn't crossed over or played through the part where the key switch is played because key switches are being played just like a regular note here. So it needs to have played this note in order to engage the mute sound. So like this will be fine going to play the mute sound. And likewise for the beginning, it has to cross the area where the sustain note is being played. So that's very problematic with the old way of doing things. Another thing which is a bit of an issue, um, if we take a look at this second key switch here, the palm mute, you may notice, I'll just zoom in a bit, that the beginning of its note is just before the beginning of that bar there. Now that's been done on purpose. Some articulations require you to play that uh, new articulation or that 
key switch just a moment before you need to hear that new sound. Now that doesn't happen to be the case with the palm mute with Ample Sounds guitars, but for demonstration purposes, let's just say this is one of those key switches which needs to be played just before the note. Well, that's okay, it's happening, right? But what if I sort of forget that's there and it's like that? And I go ahead and I've got this close and I go ahead and select my track here and I go to quantize it. So I press Q on the keyboard and great, I've quantized all my notes. Let's go back in again to the piano roll. The problem is that the key switches have also been quantized along with it. And that can be a real problem and mess up your sounds enormously. So I'll undo that and put it back to how it was. Okay, so how do we do it the new way? Well, actually, I'll get rid of those key switches there. So we've just gone back to the regular sound. I don't know if it's on mute or uh, whether it's on sustain at the moment. We'll have a listen. It's on mute, that's fine. So I'm gonna add in a, a new key switch here. Now let's imagine that I don't have one already made because you can make them and then save them. So I, I'll pretend that I haven't done that. I'll open up that panel there to create or edit my key switches and I'm just gonna add in a new one and I'll type in C0. So that's for that low C note there. And I'm gonna call this one uh, sustain. Just looking around my mic at my keyboard, okay. So that's the first of my key switches. I'll add in another one here. I'm just gonna put in D0, and this one is going to be for uh, palm mute. Okay, so I've got my key switches already set up. Of course, you can have many more of them, and as I say, you can save them as well, so you've got a preset. You don't have to do this every time. Click on OK to close that, and you'll see that two red lines have appeared here um, on the piano roll. That's handy. That lets us know where these new key switches are. Now let's just add in a key switch. So I'm just going to actually make sure that I've got this toggled on. And I'm just going to click here. I'm going to double click here, in fact, to add a new key switch. And I want it to be a sustained one. So I'll just make sure sustain is ticked. And there we go. <laughs> going to play sustain notes. And of course, what we wanted to do was have it change to palm mute notes here. So I'll just double click on the line there and I'll add in a palm mute articulation. As easy as that, that's how we can add in our articulations, okay? Key switches. Okay, so we're getting the same result as before, but it hasn't got actually the same behavior. I'm just gonna turn my snap off for a moment. I'm just gonna adjust this little uh, key switch here. So it's just before the beginning of the bar there, just as our key switch was before you. Now let's see what some of the behaviors are. So first of all, I wanna play sustained notes here. Well, that's fine. Now if I stop and skip forward to where I'm in my muted section, it's muted. Okay, I didn't have to cross over that key switch there. And if I go back here to where it's supposed, supposed to be sustained, I'll play that. It's sustained. It behaves exactly as I would expect it to be. Awesome, very, very happy about that. Okay, the next thing I wanna try is my quantizing. Well, easy enough, and I know you're ahead of me here, you know what's gonna happen. I'll go up and I'll just select my track here. I'll hit Q on the keyboard to quantize. And you'll see, you may have noticed there, I'll undo that. Take a look at these notes here. They're just very slightly off of the grid. I'll press Q to quantize. So definitely the notes quantize, but the key switches were not quantized. Ignore them. Very, very handy indeed. But what if you did want to quantize your key switches? No problem. I'll just select my key switches there. I'll press Q on the keyboard to quantize, and it's also quantized them as well. Those things really, they're simple, but they really will improve your workflow if you're using key switches. It's really as easy as that. Now, a few people have already made key switch presets, which you can download from the Personas Exchange, so you should check those out, or you can just go ahead and make your own. Very handy feature indeed. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this video useful, can you do me a favor and make sure you hit the like button? That lets YouTube know that other people should see this video as well. And of course, if you do like this kind of content, then please do subscribe, ring the bell on YouTube so that you're notified about my future videos. And I'll see you in the next video.